Yeah, we talk a lot about the front three and how important they are on both sides of the ball. That will continue to be the case, but really tonight, the point of emphasis should be on Martinez. From day one, including both fullbacks, Gutman and Adigoni. And the big question for them is what is their identity? Are they going to play in transition? Are they going to try to keep the ball a bit more this year? And the MLS Cup playoffs, where everyone has their dreams to win the title come the end of the season as we get started opening day for Chicago Fire and Philadelphia Union. Set slides for Adigoni. Hyla Selassie again to serve to the back post. Gutierrez across for Kuypers who can't get to it. But more like it from Chicago Fire. Just being able to establish their identity and their style of play throughout a full preseason. And we're starting to see some of that throughout this first half. Helped on for Gutierrez, his advantage given. Now drifting through the area. He'll go for goal and he fires in the opening goal. Brian Gutierrez has his shooting boots on in 2024. And he's given the visitors the lead. A space to be able to cut inside. No one steps to him. Wiggles his way through pressure. We've seen this time and time again. And then says, thank you very much. I'll go myself. Shakiri does such a good job of holding off Martinez to be able to buy the time for Gutierrez. And then what a strike that is. Just top corner. Says, thank you. 1-0 Chicago Fire away from home. And really against the run of play. Low. And there is the halftime whistle. Brian Gutierrez with an absolute stunner from outside the area. Need more than they gave in that first half as they're underway. Chicago leading by a goal to nil. This has been an absolute fortress for Philadelphia Union these last four years. They've only lost four times here at home of Andrew Gutman at left back for Chicago. A new signing off after two minutes with an injury. McGlynn poked in behind nicely into Nathan Herriot, and there's the goal! Daniel Gastog, free scoring as he's been these last two years. Comes in as well, and it's just the patience, speed of play. You can still move the ball quickly and be patient. Well, they wait for the buildup, they wait for the gaps. Harriel gets beyond, great slicing ball across. Gostog always looking to get inside the six yard box, and it's 1 1. The Philadelphia Union just inside the first couple minutes of this second 45. Clearly and obviously offside, and after the check, no goal, offside. The wind going towards the Delaware River end. And now Brady trying to throw, and not having enough purchase on it. Here's Sullivan, having a go, and it's only just wide. That was a special hit there from Sullivan. And Sullivan, returning the favor. Just about sealing play. First time from Gossog, and Sullivan's in the area, in towards Mikhailova! And this one should stand! Philadelphia Union have drawn the game level to their DP center forward, Mikhailova! Inside because of Sullivan is having a heyday, getting in behind. Once again, quick little one-two, Sullivan's with that change of Shakiri off, but poor passing there from Chicago and Gostov and Sullivan again, fishing it through, and it's the right boot of Brady to deny Sullivan. He looked like he was going for goal. Nice interchange between the two, and still and Gutierrez and Haile Selassie safe from Zemla, and the chance for Herbers and Gutierrez and Herbers. In these games, well, the little combination play starts with Acosta, and then you got three, four players around, and then they're crashing the box. Herbers comes out, big time challenge initially from getting the corner ready, lofting in, man down is low, more appeals for a penalty. Sullivan has had a few of those sorts of cracks, low towards the byline, sends it across on the back stick, the chance in for Hario, and it's in. we go! The Union level for a second time! Well, Damian Lowe looks to be well offside yeah, from that particular passage. Yeah, you're exactly right. It will be checked. And it is offside. The goal is disallowed. Now, 
We were expecting at the start of the season to have those VAR announcements come over the PA. He can have a crack with that right boot. Might not be what's required for now. Sullivan into Martinez. The first time cross and the header is in. Daniel Gaston. And Philadelphia Union now have their second equalizing goal in second half stoppage time. Ball. This is from Quinn Sullivan, just outside of his boot to whip it in. First time, one, two. Thank you very much. Header back of the net. We've seen this time and time again throughout this game. Over the end line to regroup defensively. Wagner's ball. Low to try to win. It's available to back post. It's off the one work from Uwa. Who will not have a better chance to win this game. And now... Chicago looking to break. Barlow is in behind. Low goes for the tackle. Tom Barlow is saved by Samba. Absolutely, he did stand his ground. Here's the initial play from Uwa that just ricocheted. Nice first touch. And still Adigoni goes on with a challenge. It's in there from Low. We still have two minutes of stoppage time. Martinez Long up to Carranzo's in space. Will hit him the volley. It's right at Chris Brady. Box. That's it. And there is the full-time whistle. Honors even at the end of one of the more incredible opening day matches you will ever see.